Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this third party figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the Mod Fans. This is the KS01 Bless which is a third party company's take on a Cerebros figure which funnily enough has full compatibility with the Hasbro Titan Fortress Maximus figure which initially when I first saw these I thought would be great but I'm going to come to and give you my thoughts in a second. Before we do that I want to quickly just move this out of the way um, and then remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please and also to thank Shozy because that's where this came from and if you want to get one for yourself there's a link in the description. So let's have a look at the box first. The box is great to be honest nice sturdy cardboard you can obviously tell that's Fortress Maximus's head. Uh, the good thing about this is as well it's quite current because although Fortress Maximus came out ages ago he has had a reissue uh, which is, get, is great for the people who missed out on it. So this set when I first saw this I thought oh this is brilliant um, and I really was impressed with it because these these two parts pieced together i'm going to show you this when i get fort max over in a bit and that's the radar dish that didn't come with the titans return one but the generation one figure in fact did have one same with that large gun so i thought oh this is going to be a brilliant set um, but then and this is where the negativity i suppose comes in it's absolutely tiny so um I'm going to see. I've not done it yet. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to do an actual real reaction when I put him on um, in, in the head mode uh, to fit on the Fortress Maximus figure. It's just so small. So in my head, and with this, I've, I've not tried it yet. I'm just thinking there's no way on this planet that it's going to work. It's going to look like a Beetlejuice shrunken head or something because there's no way that it's going to be big enough. But anyway, we will see, and I might be wrong. The figure itself, though, if you're just after collecting Legends figures and you want a Cerebros figure, I can't argue with this it's brilliant it's got exactly what you expect from pretty much most third party companies legend scale figures now what i mean by that is an abundance of articulation so the head will spin all the way around it is in fact itself it's only little little titan master um, it's a headmaster isn't it but i've got so used to calling them titan masters because they've updated them but that is beyond small um let's see if i can get an idea of how small it is so if you collect mainline figures um, it's not even as big as RC. It's about as big as RC's core class weapon, which is a lot, lot smaller than Studio Series 86's Bumblebee's weapon. So it's tiny, uh, which again, I know this isn't really aimed at kids, but it could be lost very, very easily. But that's just, again, me being extra picky. The articulation on the arms will give you the full T. They will go all the way around, completely unrestricted. You've got a swivel at the top of the shoulder. You can see there you've got a bicep flexion, pretty much all the way which is great you've got wrist is it a swivel now i know you can change the hands as well yes so of course there's a swivel because you can change the hands this is where it gets clever there's a genuine ab crunch that is genuine that's not part of transformation so that's brilliant there's a waist swivel which is good the legs will kick all the way up and back until they get restricted so near enough of the splits uh, you can move the hip skirt so you can take them right, right out to the side. So as I say, articulation wise, there's a thigh cut there, which means you can swivel it at the top of the thigh, knee bend, ankle tilt, everything. So if you were buying this as a standalone Cerebros figure, it's great to be fair. The price is pretty good as well, to be honest, uh, for the stuff that you get. This is the base that you're going to need uh, to attach him to, as I say, the main Fort Max figure. But we'll have a look at that again when we get to it. He's got his own little gun, which is brilliant. Um, I say little, but it's obviously quite big. He's got the open palms, which again, you've just seen how we took the hands off. So it would just be a case of sliding them off and then popping them on. But he's also got the little sword, which is great, which is, of course, what the Japanese versions of Fortress Maximus came with. So that's a brilliant little bonus. So to give you an idea of size, especially third party people first, there's New Age. Uh, there's Iron Factory. Where's he gone? I've got so many figures dotted about here. It's crazy. There's a Mech Fans Toys. There's another Headmaster figure. So all of these, if you're not familiar with these, these are all Legends scale figures. So they're nice and small. And I'm going to prove that right now by bringing you in uh, some standard figures. So there's a core class, not much smaller than it. There is quite a small deluxe, but still towering over it. There's a Voyager class, again, it's towering over Generation 1, towering over. So there you go. You've got the idea. It's nice and small. So that's probably, as I say, why I'm just so surprised. I can't, I can't fathom how this is going to look in, in the head mode. So because there's nothing more to say about this particular mode, 
And before, in fact, now let's just do this very quickly. So again, just to bring in the two robots, the articulation is a little bit better, is it? I'm not too sure. Is it about the same? Perhaps, no, I think it's probably the same. It's just, as I say, so, so much smaller. So what we're going to do then, we're going to come back, going to have a look at the head mode, have a look at both, and then I'm going to have to drag Fortress Maximus over on here and we can have a look at the head swap. So there you go. That's the robot mode. OK, then we're back. And as you can see, he's already in his head again. Apologies, no transformation process on this video. I've uploaded it separately to keep the main length of the video down. So before we do, uh, I suppose what it's intended for, and that is, of course, put him on the main figure. Again, I just wanted to show you the size difference. I just can't see how a head this small is going to work. But uh, what I also want to quickly show you is what you do need to do if you do want to use it to actually combine um, on to the Fort Max. This is the base plate. So you don't even need to have this, to be honest. All you need to actually have is this plate here, because that's the important bit, which it matches exactly the same as these parts here. So you can, of course, clip the heads in but that's pretty much it i mean as i say the transformation process is just a little bit more intricate perhaps it's no it's not over complicated it's just a little bit more intricate hopefully you've seen that in the video um i just i can't this is not going to work surely it's not anyway without further ado let's get fortress maximus in and then of course you can then make your own decision and of course you can let me know in the comments if you think it's going to work let's have a look at it then Okay, guys, I've got Fortress Maximus ready and we are just about ready to put the head on. But again, sorry to delay it any longer. But this, of course, is the original Generation 1 Fortress Maximus radar dish. This is the one that came in the box. So again, this is huge. You could pop this on there if you wanted to. But it's, of course, more used for a base mode. The other thing that I wanted to show you, this is the original Generation 1 Fortress Maximus is gun, which is still quite big in its own right, but it's nowhere near as big as this. And this is quite cool, to be honest. Uh, what I can see me saying at the end of this video, look, there's the huge, yeah, that's it. That is quite a bit bigger, quite a bit bigger than the original G1, but I think it looks a lot, lot better, to be fair, with that red dot on there. So what I can imagine me saying already, we've not even got that far, is it's great as a standalone figure and it's good for the additional. I just can't see this working, guys. I just really can't. Right, let's go. There is the original one. So there is the original. Let's move it over here because there's too much things in the background, probably slightly distracting you. Let's turn that there. There we go. That, to me, looks OK. Yep, looks fine. Let's take this off. Let's take this right okay so number one this is too flimsy to apply any pressure to so right i've got to hold it up i'm going to push it through the back clip it in <laughs> that's terrible it is it, it's beetlejuice shrunken head um it is. okay right so so I will spin everything on a positive. I spin everything on a positive because I think that's the way we should be anyway. Right, so let's look at it. It's It doesn't work very well as Fortress Maximus's head. As a standalone figure, it is great. As I said, if you just wanted... Oh, that comes off as well. If you want a legend scale Cerebros, you've got one. I think it works really, really well for that. Um... No denying that, to be honest. No denying that at all. Let me just, in fact, let's hold it here because it's not about him. As a head, as you saw, this is too flimsy when you want to locate it. As a standalone third party, uh, Legend Scale Cerebros, brilliant. And also the additional other accessories are brilliant. I would keep the original Fort Max's head on there because i think it looks great oh i've just knocked mine off now but then i would also keep this as a standalone cerebros let me know what you think in the comments guys take care